If you have children or nieces and nephews like I do, you've probably seen the movie Ice Age about a hundred times. Well, the Field Museum has an excellent exhibition that allows you to get up close and personal with these distant cousins of our modern day elephant. During the Ice Age, colossal mammals roamed Europe, Asia, and North America. The gigantic mammoth and the massive mastodon were two species that coexisted during that time. The Field Museum's exhibition, Mammoths and Mastodons, Titans of the Ice Age, introduces us to these giants that lived millions of years ago. Everyone thinks of mammoths as woolly mammoths that lived in Siberia where it was cold and they were shaggy. But in fact, there was another species of mammoth called the Columbian mammoth. And these Columbian mammoths lived here only in North America. They lived in Michigan and California and Texas. And they, in fact, they lived as far south as Mexico and Costa Rica. And so here, they didn't need to have that same kind of wooliness that the, the woolly mammoths did. Uh, and so they lived in completely different environments. As you walk through the exhibit, you become familiar with the differences and similarities between mammoths, mastodons, and modern day elephants. Mammoths were generally larger than mastodons and are truly the distant cousins of our modern day elephant. The mastodon was shorter and stockier than mammoths with thicker bones and differently shaped tusks. Another way to tell the mammoth from the mastodon other than their size is the shape of their molars and diets. The woolly mammoth molar had low ridges because they ate mostly grasses, while the American mastodon, who grazed on bark, twigs, and leaves, had more plates and a higher crown, which is the reason for its name. Mastodon means nipple teeth. One mastodon collector was Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States. Most of his collection of mastodon bones was brought to him by Lewis and Clark and were found in Big Bone Lick, Kentucky. Thomas Jefferson displayed his collection at his home in Monticello. The star of the exhibition is Luba, the 40,000-year-old baby woolly mammoth. Luba was found in 2007 by a Siberian reindeer herder on a riverbank. She is preserved in wonderful condition, which gave researchers a rare insight into the lives and habits of her species. Luba is the best preserved, most complete mammoth specimen known. And we're grateful that Luba's home institution, the Szymanowski Museum and Exhibition Center in the city of Salahard, in the yamalo nenets autonomous region of the Russian Federation, was willing to loan her to serve as the focal point for our story. Sergei Grishin, director of the Szymanowski Museum and Exhibition Center, came from Russia to the Field Museum for the opening of the exhibit and to represent Luba's home institution. Mr. Grishin feels that this collaboration means much to the world. This is a grandiose, enormous international project. It's very important, not just for our museum, for us, no doubt about it. Any contact, any new contact with our colleagues, any way to familiarize ourselves with museum people from other countries is very important. Popularizing of our activity making known what we do by means of this exhibition traveling to the United States is very important for us. However, I believe that uh, this sort of international cooperation is becoming more and more important and more and more commonplace. And it's not only important for us, it's an important and a necessary thing for all people living in this world. The exhibition is designed to be very interactive and hands-on. You are able to touch, make things move, solve puzzles, and do combat while learning how these animals lived thousands of years ago. Visit Mammoths and Mastodons, Titans of the Ice Age at the Field Museum through September 6, 2010.